What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, I bet you already nerd for Neosho ArtCon, but just in case, should we ask? Do you nerd? Hey guys, I'm Jazz of Nerdy Blazing Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Neo Show Art Con. So this is a tremendous local convention put on by the Neo Show Arts Council, which has a great mission of trying to preserve some local history as well as art like a fantastic mural. So I love that already. And the fact that they put on a great show is very, very cool too. The video that we put out for this already, I don't know if it really does it justice, no, just how uh -uh. much it has grown. First of all, in size, like there are so many more vendors now mm -hmm. and attendees, especially. Wow, that place was packed for all the best reasons yeah. too. I, I loved seeing how many people were there. Pretty sure if this continues, they're going to have to uh, go to a bigger venue. Yes, I agree. They've gone from a little like civic center to the elementary school, the junior high. So maybe next year we'll be at the high school. Hey, pretty soon we'll be in the college and then out oh, in the workforce. Oh my goodness, and... it's growing up so fast. <laughs> so down, Yosha. Hello, my sweet little boy. Look how big you've grown. They had some great guests this year too. Mm -hmm. Tessa Mossy of Shadowhunters and an amazing voice actress, Madeline Morris, which both of them were super kind to take the time out and give us a quick little blurb for that video. So I just wanted to say thank you to them because that was very, very sweet of them to give us the time of days. So thank you very much. Or any other number of dorky things that I have done. I am here at Neosho Art Con, and why aren't you? And also, uh, we saw some of our friends there, which is always did, great to see. Yes. Your local con buddies that you get to meet up with. Eddie of the Ghostbusters always cracking us up. Every time we see him, hey, I got something for you to film. Is that okay? <laughs> he's, Hello, he's such what a we do. Ball. Yeah, I love it though. <laughs> Jazz manning her own table as the professional cosplayer that she is. So that was very cool to see. And she fangirled out too. She did. Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> I just want to look at this. This is amazing. I love it. Oh my gosh. Sorry. That is so cool. Honestly, uh, I really don't have any complaints either. Mm -mm. Um, I, I know that sounds like very much uh, brown nosing, but no, they, they put on a good show. The flow of the floor is always really well yeah. done. The space in between booths, at booths, and in the aisles, mm -hmm. I thought it was really good. Uh, despite the fact that there were so many people there, it never really felt claustrophobic. And they're always really, really easy to work with. Um, anytime we have any questions, if we reach out to them, I mean, they get back to us so quickly and everything, and they're always so accommodating mm -hmm. to us and everything. So I love working with them. Yeah, no complaints. Just yep. want to see them yep. grow. <laughs> Well, one thing that should help is your support of the vendors, uh -huh. especially. You got a few things. And I did. One of the first booths we ran into was the Lego booth. I love to pick out the Legos, so more for you, I got an Agatha. Well, I mean, it was Agatha all along. And she killed Sparky, too. And then to go with the video game Lego collection we have, I got me a Yoshi. One of the Marvel TV shows, we got Moon Knight, and I personally like him better in his Egyptian outfit versus his going out on the town suit. <laughs> so I chose this one. I got Ravenger Thor, because he's ravishing. Wow. <laughs> Usually you read those jokes for me. <laughs> and then I got Spider Thor. Because, you know, Spider-Man's worthy, right? Right. So I like Thor, and I love Spider-Man, so why not? Combine the two. Honestly, I have not read any storyline with this in it, so I know nothing about Spider Thor. So I'm going to have to look into that. Are you sure it's not just Peter Parker in cosplay? Well, he's obviously worthy because he's picking up Mjolnir. I'm Thor, son of Odin! So there was this one booth that had a lot of really cute handmade bags and coasters and bookmarks and all kinds of things. So I picked me out a bookmark that was super cute it had a bunch of like fictional dragons on it but what really caught my eye was the fact that it had figment on there yes that's so i very loved cool. that she also had this bag that caught my eye a little makeup bag or whatever you want to put in here but it was really cutesy with the um you got freddie jason it 
and Chucky as chicks on here, and I thought that was super cute. That is very adorable. And it's I, really well made, too. I actually like the super cutesy design for these horror villains turn villainesses. I yeah. mean, it's, it's so cool. And then the zipper's got Freddy on it, so, you know. So that's perfect, perfect for you. For Always me. a Freddy fan? Always a Freddy fan. And so I really like this. I could have probably gone a lot more nuts <laughs> at the booth because she had a bunch of really cute ones, but I really like this one. Now you want to get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. Well, it wouldn't be a convention without a plushie. Of course. Right? Or a few. Or a few plushies. <laughs> well, this one booth had two plushies that I could not leave without because I love dragons. Everybody knows that. In fact, what does my shirt say? Oh, dragons are awesome. You're awesome. Therefore, I am a dragon. <laughs> How cute is this? It is a dragon fruit dragon. Yeah, pretty much the moment you picked that up, I knew it yeah. was coming home with yeah. you. Yeah, there's no way this was not coming home with me. So super duper cute and Beardo Dragons approves. He liked it. And I also picked up Puchita. And uh, I had no idea what this was when I saw it. I just saw this weird chainsaw dog looking thing. <laughs> I think he is adorable. It's kind of like what you said, if Ash had a pet, it would be this little chainsaw guy. I have not checked out the anime as of yet. In fact, I didn't even know what this was when I first saw it. This is the first time I'd ever seen this thing. Of course, I looked into it to see what it was. And I do believe we will be check trying to check out the Chainsaw Man anime because of this. Wouldn't be the first time I got into some kind of book or movie because of merchandise. And it just goes to show, don't ignore something that you already like just because you don't know what it is exactly. or what it's from. Could be a, uh, a gateway into a new nerdy fandom. <laughs> you know, speaking of chainsaws, I just wanted to share that even though I already had this issue, this Army of Darkness comic that was written by Colin Bunn, I had him sign it and it was fantastic because he didn't even remember writing it. <laughs> I told him I was literally flipping through some comics one day and noticed his name on it. I was like, I didn't know he wrote Army of Darkness. As he's signing it, he even said, yeah, I forgot I wrote that too. <laughs> I had forgotten I wrote Army of Darkness until, I mean, I mean, there are times I forget I've written it and then I see this. Like, oh yeah, I did do this. <laughs> that means you write too much stuff, man. But don't stop. I also got something signed by Mr. Bun. I got my Spider-Man Season 1 hardback cover signed by him. And last, we got our Pumpkinhead graphic novel signed. I mean, Pumpkinhead, that's kind of a deep cut whenever it comes to horror. Now, if you grew up with a lot of the classics, you know, like the Freddies and Jasons yeah. and everything, late 80s, early 90s, you probably are familiar with Pumpkinhead. Otherwise, it's kind of one of those film series that's a little bit more obscure. It's kind of underrated, I think. If nothing else, check out the Pumpkinhead movies for the monster. Mm -hmm. Great, great practical effects. I got one more plushie, and this was an adorable little frog, handmade uh, out of yarn. I love making my own yarn things, but you know what I love even more than making my own? Buying someone else's. Buying somebody else's <laughs> side. Didn't have to do the work. Nice. This one caught my eye, though, because this whole booth had a bunch of, they were all made out of the really soft, fuzzy yarn and I've never made anything out of that or seen anyone make a um, plushie out of that type of yarn so I thought that was really neat. It lends itself really well to the frog too. I mean uh -huh. the multicolors first of all it it works well with frogs yeah and then just having the soft but textured look yeah it kind of feels it. like when you're touching a frog so that's kind of fun. <laughs> so I hope to see this vendor again sometimes because she had some other stuff there that I really liked. Well, I picked up something small, a magnet, Princess Peach showing off her boobies. Boobies. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> it's, it's a goofy pun <laughs> and it's Princess Peach. Love Princess Peach stuff and seeing her boobies. I mean, that's great. I picked me up another pin for my backpack or my wall or whatever I want to do. But one of my favorite TV shows growing up as a child, Are You Afraid of the Dark? I would like to add a real quick little story. I'd never seen no. Are You Afraid of the Dark until you came along. You yes. had me watch the whole series with you. It was a fun series. The thing that really hooked me, though, that theme song, it is and a especially good whenever theme I find song. covers yes. of it. Oh, We 
saw our buddy Nathaniel Toynes with Toynes Art peddling his creativity and I could not leave without a print. So I got this lovely one of Laura Croft and I really, really like this. First of all, uh, her face, Future Tom is gonna throw up the artist's name right here. It reminds me of that art style a lot that I remember seeing back in the day. But the rest of it, all the lines are very clean. Looks like she's coming out of the water. Maybe it's a little warm and she's melting. <laughs> but regardless, it was a really cool piece. It's Tomb Raider had to have it for the game room. And I got a piece of art. Um, he actually gave it to me because I knew what it was. It shocked him and surprised him, but we were flipping through him. And I go, hey, is that Witchblade? And he goes, yes. And he was like shocked. And he's like, nobody has gotten that since I drew it. So he's like, You're, that's going home with you. So I was like, awesome, thank you. Well, that is a very, very cool Witchblade piece too. Look at all of the detail yeah. in that evil witchy hand. I, I don't remember what it's called. It's been a while, you guys. <laughs> but I am disappointed in all of you for not knowing Witchblade. If you exactly. didn't know Witchblade, go to, go to Toyn's Arts page and let him know that you know who Witchblade is. Funny thing is I told him, I said, I know what that is because I have her toy. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, give it back. And she ran off. I ran away. I was like, it's fine. You gave it to me. Cheese it! <laughs> the last stuff I got was at one booth here. I got this really adorable like rubber keychain of Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm obsessed with these style keychains. I don't know why. I also got this really cute little Bruce. You know, fish are friends. And then this, this Spider-Man here, I have passed him up from this exact booth at three different conventions. And I was like, hey, it's time to come home with me. And what actually caught my eye was his webbed backpack stuff that he used to web up all of his like clothes and shoes and backpack and throw it against the wall, like came with it. So that's what actually first caught my eye with the Spider-Man, if not mine. Well, there you have it. Those are our super eclectic pickups <laughs> from a very, very fun convention. Already looking forward to next year, returning to Neo Show Art Con. Again, please check out the link in the description below. First of all, go watch our video and see how great of a convention it is. So you can was. see us there next year. Yeah, and see how much fun it is going to these local conventions. Go out, support them, you guys. They're a ton of fun. You're gonna make some con friends. You're gonna find some cool stuff, meet some cool people. So support them, help them to grow. And then check out the Neo Show Arts Council. You know, even if you're not in our area, Look into your area, see what kind of great causes you can help support, especially when it comes to arts and history. And let us know in the comments down below what you thought of any of this stuff. Is she in for a treat with a brand new anime? Do you guys know who Witchblade is? If nothing else, I got a cute dragon. Who wants to see some boobies? <laughs> they, they want to see some boobies. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Go over to Tee Public because we've got some pretty cool merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we chainsaw through it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Why do we have to go and make things so complicated? Shut up, Avril. Got my line that time. <laughs> yeah. D did we actually miss on purpose or for real? <laughs> that is a good question. <laughs> Let us know down below. Okay. Let me start that again. <laughs> Sorry, future Tom. Okay, ready?